Hey guys, Angel here today, and guess what? I got some German silver. All right. Sorry to say that a lot of people end up falling for this because it says one German silver, bullion one, 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 United States of America. All right, for one thing, why is it United States of America if it's German silver? And then it says one, one troy ounce. Yeah, one troy ounce. And then what's it say on the back? It says fine German silver, 999, one troy ounce. So they put the silver in there. They put the 999 and then they put the troy ounce. And it says troy ounce, so let's see. Let's see if it weighs a troy ounce. All right, let's see. We're going to tear it. We're going to go to the mode. The mode has to be... Oh, let's tear it. Can't see that far away. The mo the mode has to be O Z T because that's ounces Troy. Alright, let's check it out. Oh man. <laughs> go back on. Come on, go back on. Alright, and it's still on the Troy ounces. And it's like one point one three. 1.14. Yeah. It doesn't even weigh a troy ounce. And it says one troy ounce. But see, the way what they get you on, folks, is it says silver, 999. So there's 999 silver in here. But it's not together. Like, it doesn't say it's together anywhere. All right, like this bar, it says one troy ounce, 999 pure, pure silver. This bar says 999 fine silver, but they put it, as you can see, they put it together, but these aren't together. It just says 999 fine German silver, and then it's telling you that this bar is an ounce, but let's see. Yeah, see, they're not going to give you that much more of an ounce. And someone's like, I got this great deal. I got this great deal here. And I'm like, yeah, it's not that great of a deal. Because I put it on the Sigma, and it didn't test nowhere near the fine silver. So if it just says German silver and, like, the fine silver, actually, I think most German silver says... Fine silver, anyways. But yeah, I don't know why. I don't think German would make United States of America silver. All right, let's put it on this pocket pinger. Put the real one on the pocket pinger. Yeah, I don't think bars work very well. I need a little stick. Oh yeah, or I can just clang them together. Oh yeah, that almost like hurts your ears. The fake stuff hurts your ears. It's like a dog whistle, but for people that like silver. And honestly, I think the color is off. Like, I don't feel like it even looks like silver to me. But a long time ago, I got fooled. Because all I seen was like the silver 
one troy ounce so i got fooled and i didn't have a sigma so i got fooled but somebody else got fooled and i hope you guys don't get fooled so personally i just do not buy anything that just says german silver just a second let me get like a geiger and see what it says all right, see the Geiger, the Geiger says, you know, 50 grams fine silver. And it's like 999. It doesn't say anything on the back, but yeah. Usually they put it all together in one line. So this is German silver, but this is good German silver. See, made in Germany. But it doesn't say German silver, you know, it says Geiger. So basically, if you see anything that says German silver, I would be a little leery about buying it. I'd stay away from it. Um, a lot of times they put this stuff up on eBay and people think, oh, well, that's a really good deal. Well, sometimes, you know, if it's too good to be true, it is. These weigh way more than they should. And I, w I wish I could, like, break it in half or something to see what's inside. But I mean... It totally looks pretty claddy to me. So I wonder how much silver is actually in here. And maybe I'll look up the definition of German silver. Alright guys, I just like Googled. What is German silver? And why is it called German? Well, I didn't say why is it called German. But this is like the first thing that came up. It says there are a billion of silver products in the market with different names, compositions, textures. Which makes absolutely difficult to choose the best out of example in the German silver. The German silver has long been in existence and could be traced back as far as the early 18th century. The silver was developed in Germany by German metal workers in imitation of Chinese alloys to be used as a substitute for silver. Yeah, so the German silver is known as nickel silver. So why do they even write silver? It's to, like, confuse people, obviously. German silver is composed of three major elements, copper, zinc, and nickel. And with a trace of tin and lead. All right. So my question really is, is why do they call it silver? If, if it doesn't even have any silver in it. And how can it be pure? So, like, basically all those elements I just told you. So, all those elements are pure. They're purely in here. So, literally, even though it says silver, there is not one minute piece of silver in here. So, that really blows my mind. And it kind of makes me angry. So, if anything says German silver... Just know it's not silver. So, yeah, don't buy anything that says German silver. Please don't make this mistake because, I mean, what's this mistake? Like, all right, let's say silver is 25 bucks. So there's 100. There's 200. There's 250 bucks of worth of mistake there if you mistake it for silver. So don't do it. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I was, like, scared to buy Geiger's. But Geiger's doesn't say German silver, so they're A-OK. -okay. All right, so as I was going through these, I noticed one of them says Atlantis Mint on it. it says Atlantis Mint on the back. All the other ones don't. But, I mean... They they pretty much they look pretty much exactly the same except for one says Atlantis Mint. So then you know that got me to wondering. So I went on the old interweb and started searching the Atlantis Mint. Well, the Atlantis Mint people started having problems with them, and they probably made these other bars too. I don't know, and they probably just like took their name off of them because they didn't want their name to be established with was something that was like confusing people yeah it still says like troy troy ounce and stuff like that 
So, yeah, I literally did some research, and, like, one day they just up and disappeared. And, but there is, like, a little backstory on J.M. Bullion that I'm going to show you here in a minute. All right, J.M. Bullion. The Atlantis Mint is a family-owned and operated business which mint silver bullion products in the United States. But then it says product offering as one of the leading refiners of non-precious metals. Atlantis Mint works with copper, bronze, titanium, brass, zinc, yada, yada, yada. Hand poured bars, unique designs. So I guess at one point, let's see, let's go up. The Atlantis Mint did do some poured silver. So there's some actual silver, but I mean, you see they're all out of stock. But basically, their mint did non-precious metals. And for some reason, they decided to put silver on it and confuse people. And they probably closed down because <laughs> a lot of people felt ripped off. A lot of people probably were like, hey, why does it say silver? It's not silver. Of course, you know, they're closed down now. So I don't know if when they actually sold them, if they told the people that what the composition was of them. Maybe I'll do a little research further into it. See what else I can find out. But yeah, just please don't buy German silver. Because when it's like this, it's too confusing. And you might think it's actual silver. So, anyhow, I thank you guys for watching this video. If you have something to say about it, please give us a little comment right down there below. And if you liked it, give me a lucky lucky. And I will see you out there sometime real soon. Bye bye